So the font that I'm gonna use, this font is called I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's Nadam Contrast Regular. Nadam Contrast Regular. Okay. And that's the font that I'm gonna use. So let's go with that font. I'm pretty set on keeping this a lower case just because I like how the G looks. I want to take this off of this G and place it here on the V. We have to ungroup everything. Expand, object, ungroup. All right, so I'm gonna take the G and I'm gonna take this rectangle to separate this from the G. Just going to select both of them with my so direct selection tool or selection tool. Selection tool, excuse me, the selection tool. And then I'm going to go to the Pathfinder. Taking the Pathfinder tool. And then I am going to divide. Okay, so that divides it. I'm going to, this is, I believe this is the direct selection tool, the direct selection tool. And then just moving this out of the way. All right, so then that deletes that. And so now we have just this part of the G. So to get rid of what I'm not gonna use. All right, let's, the divide tool. to take that away once more. We're gonna do the same thing that we did before. Okay, I need to get rid of, I need to get rid of all of this because this is gonna sit on top of the G. So I need to get rid of all of that. All right, let's do that. Let's move this again. Okay, I think this 
this should be good enough. And it is perfect. Okay, so this looks like I just placed this completely on top of the V. So now I have to manipulate the V into looking a little bit more organic. like I did this one here. So I kind of made this like more of a curve. So in order to do that, I'm gonna have to group this all together. Object group. And then I'm gonna take my pencil tool All right, whenever I can't find something, I'll just type in, type it in in the discover tab and it'll just pull it up. So pencil tool brings it up, it's right here. So huge hack here. I just realized that I was using two different paths to create this unique letter. But what I needed to do was unite it. I couldn't remember how I did it the first time. So now it should be easier to work with um, when using the pen tool. So to unite it, I just went to Pathfinder and then uh, you select both of the paths or both of the letters that's group together and then you unite. So unite is right there. And now I should be able to work with it a little bit better. So hit in on my keyboard or first use the select tool. And then this should help me in being able to smooth everything out. So I'm just gonna go in with my pen tool again, hit letter in and this is gonna help me okay so that's gonna help me smooth everything out yes 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 this is what we needed oh that's so much better oh this is so much better
done with the V. I like it. This is what the V looks like once I first did it last week. And this is the new V. I think I'm sticking with the new V just cause I play around with it a little bit more. I was a little bit more familiar with how to make it my jam and now we've got something. So this looks good to me. Alrighty. So now what I'm gonna do is I feel like I've scaled the, the, the letters up the way that I need to. So now it's just about placement of how this looks. done here for today so we've got our stacked logo just playing with the different proportions but I pretty much think that this is gonna work for the stacked logo and then we have the horizontal logo and so that's our horizontal lockup we've got our stacked lockup this is the primary lock logo. And then we have our wonderful emblem. These are our, these are the logos that I have decided will be the representation for the brand. 